there's been particular uh, pressure, of course, in dealing with p people on IPP sentences, mm. in de indeterminate sentences for public protection. Uh, and um, th there's also been changes in policy in relation to the move to open conditions, which I know you've taken an interest in on behalf of Prison Reform Trust. Um, what's your assessment of the, uh, the impact that's having on um, the prisoners themselves and officers who have to work with them? Uh, well, um, first of all, it's having a very dramatic impact on numbers. Yes. Um, Again, I heard um, the CEO of the Prison Probation Service giving evidence to you the other week and saying that it was almost inevitable there would be 600 spaces in open prisons. Um, I, I don't think that's right. I can't imagine why the prison service would have 600 spaces in open prisons. And one of the reasons for it is that effectively there is a ban mm. on people serving indeterminate sentences, both IPP and life as going to open prisons, and that's been operating since the spring of last year. Um, and it's, it's curious because it's, you know, it's another one of the prison services success stories that it doesn't want to mm. acknowledge. Um, there is a very low abscond rate, a very low yes. reoffending rate. The government doesn't actually know how many, if any, lifers have committed a serious offence while unlawfully at large right. from an open prison. So it, it feels curious that it's being done at all. The impact on prisoners is a complete loss of hope. And the, the process by which this is being done, which we discovered in a Freedom of Information request only last week, is that there is an unnamed official who is effectively taking all the decisions about whether people can go to open conditions. Um, the Justice Secretary said that he wanted a closer ministerial involvement. We know from another FOI that ministers have not taken the decision in any individual case. Right. So the unnamed official must be operating some kind of steer, but we don't know how, what, what that is, except that the Justice Secretary wants a more precautionary approach. That's the only phrase which we found we which informs the policy. So it's incredibly dispiriting for prisoners. Mm. The, the prisoners who have made the most effort, who have, if you like, played the game to the, you know, the most cooperative extent are the ones who are particularly disadvantaged by this. Okay. And staff, you know, staff have to deal with that. Staff yes, have to somehow mind. explain to someone who has spent 20 years waiting for their move to open why overnight the rules of that particular game have changed so dramatically.